You know, East Bay Network is an organization dedicated to providing a social environment, activities, and information for the adult gay, lesbian, and bisexual community of the San Francisco Bay Area and beyond. Stay tuned for my interview with Stephen Mahavir from EBN. That should be interesting. Hello, I am here. Um, my name is Johnny Zitch, and I'm here with um, East Bay Network President Stephen Mahabir. East Bay Network is a gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual group for social networking. And uh, this is Stephen. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your uh, social events. Well, East Bay Network is a gay and lesbian, transgender social group within the Bay Area, and it encompasses members throughout the whole Bay Area and even beyond. And what we do is we have social events every weekend, and we take members' suggestions, and then we, throughout the year, have events so people can attend. And um, actually, I first learned about them um, quite a while well, well back ago. Um, probably like in 96 is the first time I went to an event. Actually, East Bay Network started as a loosely knit social group in 1986. Mm -hmm. And in 1995, it became a formal social group where we wrote bylaws and created a, a format where the group can continue. So it's, it's a formally organized group now. And um, one of the things actually I, I really um, liked about the group was that um, it wasn't focused on a um, particular age group or a particular event. It wasn't like a sports group or anything like that. It was quite an array and also it was gay, lesbian, bisexual. Mm -hmm. There was straight couples there, it was just kind of a pretty good mix. Well, we're one of the only social group in the Bay Area that encompasses all the, the people you just described. We have several groups that are f uh, focused on athletics or teenagers or certain types of groups, people, but uh, we encompass everybody. And the um, events range pretty much at any level too. Anything from something as simple as you know a potluck or game night to houseboating and snow skiing and river right. rafting. Well, throughout the year we have like an event every weekend, so we have like 50 52 events for the whole year, and sometime more. Wow. But we have hikes, we have houseboating trips, and uh, potlucks and picnics. So what we do is we ask members to lead an event or to host an event at their house or clubhouse, or if they want to lead an event at a museum or something like that, we would um, ask them to do that. And that was another thing I also liked because like you said, the museums and, and just what's around in the Bay Area. Right. Um, I remember like when I joined, I was just moved to California and it was a nice place to just um, see places and meet people that, you know, I wanted to go see different events in California or things and I didn't want to go by myself. Right. So it, it did make a very good uh, venue for that. This is one of the reasons why we have the social events is because we, a lot of people don't like to do these things by themselves. Right. So this is a good opportunity to meet other people and to participate in a group activity without being left out. Yeah. Do you have, do you have like a, an annual event like the, that's the hot seller? Or? We have several signature events for East Bay Network. Uh -huh. We have some, in October we usually have a cruise to either Mexico, we're doing one this year, the Caribbean. Our signature event is our Thanksgiving potluck, oh. main event. Oh. And we usually have about 75, 80 people. And then the, the one that follow up to that is our holiday party in December. And that usually runs pretty much close to 100 people. Even people who were members in the East Bay or in the Bay Area move away and they still to continue their membership. Right. So you have actually members throughout the United States. Well, they, they feel welcome in the group. Yeah. And it's, it's a friendly group. And this is one of the comments I get all the time. This is one of the most friendly groups that people can go, that people have attended their events. No one feel left out. There's always someone to welcome you, someone to talk to you when you first come to the event. So this, this is something I try to promote, the yeah. friendliness of the group. I remember you saying once that um, one key element to it was that, that as the group, you don't try to be the best and you don't try to do anything. You know, people come and they like it, they enjoy it, they stay, and, and that's just the way it is. And it, it tends to be a lot of people that I met back, what, 10 years ago, when I first thought, are still with the group. Well, you don't have to be a member to attend the group events. Mm -hmm. However, we do have a membership. So if you like the group and you want to be a member, you can contribute to the group. And we do have an annual membership fee for okay. members. So um, 
So on that, you know, if, if, you, if people enjoy that and they want, are interested, they can um, check the screen and find out more information on who to contact and look up the uh, coming events. So um, thank you for coming to our show. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. We'd love to get mail from you. Send it to Outlook Video at P.O. Box 390-996, Mountain View, California, 94039-0996. To contact us by telephone, call 408-293-3040, extension 205. Or you can send email to comments at outlookvideo.org. To learn more about Outlook Video and to get a list of our air dates and times, point your web browsers to outlookvideo.org.